Look, okay, if no one's gonna if no one's gonna talk about this, can we can I please just be the one that has at least a little bit of fucking 200 million. 200 fucking million. I'm looking at it right now. It's just been confirmed. Neymar to PSG. Something we've known for several days now, but it's taken a while. Confirmation now. Are you joking me? Neymar has moved to PSG for, if we want to be specific here, 197 million pounds. And that is way more than what bloody uh, Pogba went for just last year. Football hasn't just gone crazy. It's gone fucking insane. Football should be locked up. It's fucking bullshit. 200 million. Well, the fact of the matter is that Neymar this season will be a PSG player and everyone is keen to see how he's going to go and everyone's keen to see how PSG are going to go. So that is exactly why you knew that this was coming. I have to see how are PSG going to do this season with Neymar in their team. First up, here's how PSG are going to line up potentially this season. I've gone and added in some other players that they've brought in, for example, one big one being Danny Alves at the right back position. Here's how I've got them lining up at the moment. They've got Kevin Trapp in goal, or maybe they'll go with Alphonse Ariola, either or, I think, potentially. And I think Sirigu has been transferred out, so he won't be there. Levine Kurzwa, Thiago Silva, you're going to spot a lot of Brazilians. I mean, that entire back four is nearly made up of Brazilians, except for Kurzwa. Is Maxwell... Is Maxwell still in that team? I don't, I don't think he is looking at the reserves. Okay, that would have been crazy if we had an all-Brazilian back four in a French team. The midfield at the moment I've got is Verratti. Not even going to fucking try to say his name. And then there's also Blaise Matuidi. And then there is this insane attack. Neymar, Cavani, and Di Maria. So what is the correct... Uh, what, what's, the, what's the word for it? What's the three-letter combination for that then? CDN, no. DCN, no. NDC, no. CND, it just doesn't work. No, they're all shit. How about this? Just, just a thought. How about instead of going with NCD, CDN, CND, or anything crap like that, we go with this. We combine Neymar, Cavani, and Di Maria into just one word. Neymar Maria. Hashtag Neymar Maria. Get it fucking trending. That is, of course, if Di Maria actually does play at the right wing position. I mean, they potentially could get Draxler in there. But either way, I mean, they, like this team, it is honestly sick. I know PSG did struggle last season. They didn't win the league. They lost out to... A class Monaco side, obviously, a team that went far in the Champions League. And speaking of the Champions League, yeah, we all know how that went for them. But honestly, the only reason that they didn't progress to the last eight best teams in Europe is because they lost out to one of the most amazing comebacks in Champions League history when they lost 6-1. It was fucking unbelievable. They just got their tactics wrong. They completely bottled it. But just because of that doesn't mean they're a joke. Doesn't mean they're a shit side. This team, now under Neymar, I think can do fucking damage. Not only are they surely going to win Ligue 1, but maybe they might just potentially threaten in the Champions League. And that is what today's simulation is about. We're not putting them, we're not doing anything bullshit like putting PSG in the bloody Premier League. No, we're going to simulate an entire season with PSG, with Neymar in the side, as well as some of those new signings like, of course, Danny Alves. And we're going to see how they're going to go in both Ligue 1 and how they're going to go in the Champions League. I'm putting a big emphasis on the Champions League here because like this team has to, surely, has to win League 1. Anything else is a fucking disgrace. It's the Champions League that's the actual challenge for them. So let's begin simulating ahead then. We're going to do the exact same thing. About 10 games each in the league. And then maybe as we get to hopefully knockout stage football, maybe I'll just individually sim every single Champions League game. Okay, so I just got done simulating ahead. We're about 10 or 11 games into the season. And while I was waiting, I did some digging. A $1 coin could fall out of Neymar's pocket. By the time he goes down, picks up the coin and puts it back in his pocket, he would have already made another $2. It is literally not even worth his time to pick up a $1 coin. Okay, guys, I've um, I've just taken a look at the table and uh, we have an interesting development. If you saw my last career mode simulation with AC Milan and how they really, really struggled, um, maybe a reoccurring trend here. Don't worry, it's not as bad, but PSG are currently second still to Monaco. Imagine the scenes. They are on 29 points AS Monaco. PSG are nine points behind. Monaco are undefeated. PSG have already lost three games in their first 11. I mean, surprising. Maybe not anything too ridiculous, but still. I don't think we have too much to worry about. That is unless we're completely bottling it in the Champions League group stage. We're about to find out though. And now looking at the Champions League group, uh, it's not looking as straightforward in Ligue 1 as it is as well in the Champions League group. They are currently still, don't worry, in the top two. But Porto, hot on their trail with bloody one point only separating them. Salzburg are doing F all in the Champions League. And why am I centering myself? I say fuck all the time. But anyway, Roma are on top with 10 points and I don't know, it might look tight. They might not even get into the knockout stage. Maybe they're scared of what Barcelona did to them. Let's just advance ahead to January now after a few more games, the halfway point of the season, and we'll see how they go. If they're 
sell even in the Champions League and if they've maybe made some ground on Monaco. Okay, we've just finished advancing again. We're now at the 1st of January and I have another stat while we were waiting that I've come up with. So Neymar's buyout clause was like, what? 200 million pounds, okay? You know, that could probably buy you a billion Freddos. One billion. You could probably cover the entire city and more of Barcelona just with one billion Freddos. But anyway, though, back to the table, taking a look at it and Monaco still on top. But if anything, PSG have made some ground. One point. But still, they've made ground. Monaco has also lost one game, finally. They're not going to go undefeated, but there you go. PSG and Monaco. There's still a bit of a gap there. It's not over yet, though. So we may see PSG buy Neymar for all this money, and according to the simulation, not even get on top of the league gun. And the good news is, too, that PSG actually came after a relatively shaky start in the Champions League group stage. They're going to finish on top. They finished ahead of Roma that lost their last two games, and PSG finishes with 11. So... Who have they drawn themselves against if they do finish on top of the group? Well, if you thought they'd be getting someone easy, you would be wrong. They got Bayern Munich in the round of 16. PSG versus Bayern Munich. How does that happen? And of course, we need to see how Neymar is going through all of this as well. He has currently gone up in overall, up to a 93. But what about his stats? How many goals? How many assists after how many games played? Okay. Okay, okay, 25 games played. He's only scored 10 goals and two assists. I mean, for most players, you'd take that. For Neymar, for 200 million, I'm not so sure. 17 games played in the league, only six goals and one assist. I don't know what sort of numbers he normally puts up at Barcelona or what he used to put up at Barcelona. Something tells me they were a little bit better than that though. Just nothing crazy, but just a little bit better than that. To be fair to him, you know, I mean, like he's still their top goal scorer. Everyone else, I mean, it's very evenly distributed, except for Levine Kurzawa, a left back, who is their second highest goal scorer with seven goals and five assists. To like, like collated goals and assists. Levine Kurzawa has more. I do like your thinking here, PSG. You get Neymar in the team, not because he's going to help you, but no, because he's going to free up Levine Kurzawa. All right, then it is time. I said I wanted to focus on Champions League for this career mode simulation, and we have made it to the first leg of the Champions League knockouts here in the round of 16. Bayern Munich away is the first match. We're keeping an eye on Neymar here, especially to see if he does well, but something tells me that Bayern Munich might be putting up a fair challenge to PSG. I don't even think PSG are going to win this game away against Bayern. I don't think you can just win that that easily. Yeah, exactly. Kimmich scoring the first goal. Then the second half gets kicked underway. And look at that. Neymar rescuing a point. And not just that, or not even a point. An away goal there. That's not bad. And is anyone else? Yep, Thiago's going to score 2-1. 15 minutes, Neymar. Have you got anything else? Can you pull anything out out the bag? Doesn't look like it. Whoa, nah, 2-1. 2-1 loss. That's it. That's why I thought... Bayern Munich weren't going to win, or should I say Bayern Munich were going to win their first game. PSG might end up doing absolutely no better than they did last season, except they may be getting knocked out of the Champions League round 16 in a less humiliating way. I don't know. So here we go then. Now the second leg against Bayern Munich. And if they don't win this, then it could be over. I mean, all it's going to take is a... Wow. Wow. One fucking minute. One fucking minute. They're already down. That's un... Okay. Cool, sweet. So now they absolutely need to win the game. And even if they bag another goal by Munich, then it'll already be over. We're already pretty much at halftime. I mean, this is pretty much it. They've scored two. PSG are out. I'm fucking calling it. This is fuck. And then there's three. Unbelievable. PSG. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got Neymar. We're about to fucking kill this team. Fuck off. What is this bullshit? Every single fucking time I do one of these career mode simulations, FIFA just shits all over the team. Doesn't matter if it's AC Milan. Doesn't matter if it's PSG. Now watch PSG finish below Monaco after they spend two hundred million on Neymar. These simulations make me angry. Now we check in on Ligue 1 to see how they're going, and oh great, they're not doing any fucking better. As a matter of fact, they've been leapfrogged by Leon. This is fucking bullshit. No, I'm actually getting annoyed now. I'm out here thinking that this team's going to dominate League 1 comfortably and maybe they might be able to win, oh, I don't know, the Champions League or something. Nah, get knocked out fucking immediately in the knockouts. And then this. Um, look, I'll happily admit, I may have gotten it wrong. We and the collective of football fans all over the world that think PSG are going to probably end up winning League 1, we might have it wrong, you know. But there's no fucking way all of us can be wrong and only you can be right. I suppose, if anything, like, they're still on for the domestic treble, so that might still be sort of somewhat considered a success. But, I mean, they're in the Coupe de Ligue final, which is okay. They've also got the Coupe Nationale, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, still, I'm still a bit... Like, they, they've just if they don't end up winning the league, I think it's a joke. Anyway, you know, like I said, there is a there is a cup final to be played here, so we may as well simulate this. They've been lo they've lost every single game that I've simulated so far. At least they were against Bayern Munich. But hey, Neymar scoring a goal within the first couple of minutes, that's good. You know, you can take that. Nice. All right, cool. Now, hopefully, maybe they can build on this because I'm still not comfortable. Nope, 
2 0. We've got, we might see a fucking, we might see a hat trick from Neymar. That's not too bad. He did get the second with a penalty, but whatever. We're actually going to see PSG win a fucking game when I simulate with them. That's sensational. Again, it is only against Marseille compared to Bayern. Maybe not that good. And there it is! Hey, that's a fucking miracle! Neymar picking up a hat trick in the final. There we go, son. We're only doing this video just for you. And finally, he delivers in this goddamn simulation. Okay, some said that he was leaving to escape the shadow of Lionel Messi to go and build his own legacy, to go and win trophies elsewhere. That last bit may have gotten a few laughs, but whatever. But at least now he's been able to get one, and he does it in the final, a hat trick. Yes, thank you. And that's also going to help out his stats as well, because... Goals and assist-wise, I was expecting him to do a bit better. But anyway, before we do find out where PSG finished in the table, I think I'm going to simulate this final final as well. You know what I mean by that. They're like the last final that we've got up today. All right then, let's see how we go against Nice and Di Maria scoring the first goal that time. I'm literally only keen on Neymar getting goals. I want him to have as big a tally and as much as possible. He's supposed to be leading this team. He's supposed to be scoring Messi, Ronaldo-like numbers, or I think that's probably the expectation, but whatever. Still 1-0 at the moment. Nearly an hour into it. The subs are starting to come in. You better not fucking take off Neymar. Deschamps? Is he the manager? I don't even know. Whatever. And there's two. Di Marie is the one that's apparently going to get all the goals today. But whatever. PSG win both French Cup competitions. Good on them. But now we find out where they finished in the table or in the league. Between the top three teams in Ligue 1, there's only two points separating them between first and third. Let's go down and see who finished where. In third position... PSG, they just fucking finished in third. God damn it. 79 points for the season. And Monaco finished on top. Leon just ahead of them with one point. They were a fair way off at that point in or a couple of games back. So they've made some sort of a comeback, but they haven't been able to complete it. They weren't able to do the Barcelona. So PSG, after spending £200 million on Neymar, won't even be able to finish in the top fucking two. They'll only just scrape into Champions League again. This is mental. And finally, taking a look at Neymar, recapping the entire season and his goals and assist tally for 55 games, nearly 30 goals and 12 assists. I think you'd probably take that. It's not Messi numbers, it's not Ronaldo numbers, but you'll probably take that with the way that it was, especially at the start of the season, 25 games played and only just got the 10 goals. I think you can probably take that tally. Well, there you have it then, guys. Um, pretty interesting results here, and I don't know if this is too good a simulation to go off. I think every fucking time I do one of these in career mode with FIFA 17, it's giving me some sort of BS, but apparently they won't win Lee Gun, and they won't even get past the round of 16. Let me know what you think of this whole insane debacle with the Neymar transfer, guys. Do you think it's a good move for him, him stepping out the shadow of Messi, or do you think he should have stayed at Barcelona, maybe waited a few more years for Messi to sort of either tail off or eventually leave or eventually leave Barcelona altogether, and then he could have taken over the team. That's what I thought he would have done, but Apparently he's maybe, I don't know, a little bit too impatient or was just keen on the money. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10 million by the end of the year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.